Uh, what is my video about today? Well, hey, I think you probably already know. Here, I got my electrical outlet here. I'm going to replace this duplex electrical outlet in the wall. I'm going to replace that defective one with this one. If you want to watch that, stick around and I'll show you how. Now, what's the deal, Joe? If you were watching another uh, video of mine and you saw all this, you know that this particular electrical outlet is in fact working, but it's not working like it should. I've got this little thing plugged in there and it's for cats. If you have a cat pissing on your carpets at home, you might want to get some of this stuff that works really super good. You plug it in there, it, sh it shoots off an aroma. It doesn't shoot off, it just kind of weeps it into the room. You, you can't smell it. You're your dogs can't smell it's not going to affect your dogs and if you have cats there it's going to affect them it's going to calm them down a little bit and it's going to prevent them um, from pissing and urinating on your carpets on your electrical outlets on your walls on your baseboards whatever okay try it you might you might be um, pleasantly surprised this is called comfort zone and this was a value pack Momi got and it came with six of these little goodies, replacement cartridges, and it came with three tops. I don't throw these away every single time. I'll save them in case one goes bad. I always want to have a couple extras. This wasn't really, this wasn't really going to be part of the video per se, but um, because I, I made it, I made another video on that. But since I'm, shoot, since I'm right here, you see. Here's one of those cartridges there. You unscrew that, and this is a wick. And then, and then you would, here's, here's your little deal. You would screw that on there, plug that into the wall. The aroma comes up on, but there's a table top that sits on there. See, here's a different, here's a different one. The wick goes up through there, and there's a little platform up there. The wick goes up there, and then, and then this top thing gets kind of moist. And then, and then it, it's heated up with a little motor heater thing in there and then it it uh, permeates throughout your room it calms your cats down trust me it works and you see this one here I've got a little piece of uh, napkin under there see how it's kind of setting at an angle it doesn't want to set in there straight and I think I think it's because this electrical outlet is in the hallway. This condo is 15, over 15 years old. See it? See how this kind of, it just doesn't want to hold up there. And if you leave it like that and it's coming down at an angle, after you put it in, you feel under there uh, 10 minutes later, this is going to be wet and this is greasy, oily stuff. It's going to be wet and what do you suppose happens? It drips down on top, top of your carpet. That's why this thing has to be straight like that that's why that's why I, I, I put that underneath it see but I don't I don't want to leave it like that it's it's not gonna take me very long to replace this electrical outlet this thing costs less than a buck I'm gonna do it right these these prongs on here are gonna be a lot stiffer because they're brand new they're not gonna be worn out from somebody plugging something in, in here 50 million times in the last in the last 15 years because when they run a vacuum up here where do you suppose they plug the vacuum in it, it, it's real easy to plug it in here. There's no plugs down here low anywhere in here. There's one. There's one behind here. I'm not going to pull that out every single time. And in the bedroom, you know, there's one over there. There's one over there. I, I'm not going to get over there. Here, here's one over here that I, I could use that one to plug in for my uh, vacuum. But then my extension cord on the vacuum is not very long. I, I like to plug in here. Everybody else liked to plug in here before we moved in here too. That's why those prongs are really super loose. So even if you have an electrical outlet that's still working, if those prongs are loose, why don't you go ahead and just replace it? It doesn't take you very long. Maybe you only got two or three of those in your, your house. Different areas where you know every time you plug something in there, your vacuum, it always wants to kind of come out. It doesn't poke in there very well and you have a hard time leaving your plugging your extension cord in there. Go ahead and replace your electrical outlet, even if it's not broken. But if you have a broken electrical outlet with this, where this uh, ground prong goes in there, if that breaks, did you know this is this is a failed and a, defect, a defective outlet? No, no 
uh, inspector is going to say, oh yeah, that's still good. You shouldn't have to replace it. If an inspector came to your house to sell your house before you buy your house, you'll, you'll have a homeowner's inspection. Uh, the, guy, the guy is supposed to check all that kind of stuff. If, if you're uh, doing a remodeling job, your inspector comes, if he sees one of those broken, guess what? He's going to make you replace it, even if, you, even if it's still working. But if your face is cracked, or if you're having a hard time with one side not working, you know you always have to plug in here because this side's not working, it's defective. Go ahead and replace it. Okay, that's what this video is about. Okay, so I am ready to replace this now. And the first thing I'm going to do is I take my little electrical tester. I'm going to plug it in there. I've already turned this one off. I found the electrical breaker down in the, uh, down in the garage. And then I, I tested this. Lots of times you have to kind of move this around back and forth. Make sure your tester is good first before you plug it into something in case your light's not working or something like that. Make sure your tester is good. Uh, so that you don't turn your breakers and you and you turn one breaker off and you check this Okay, yeah, that's off and then you start working on it and and you shock yourself you mess up your tools you scare yourself out Silly when this thing pops on you and fries you Okay, so that's the first thing you want to do. I never I never want to encourage anybody to um, Work on something with power there. Okay, that's the first thing you want to do It's it's find the right breaker back and forth you go Test it out, and um, then you want to remove this, okay? And um, the thing with this is, this, this is an old school type of electrical outlet. And I always like to check that out first before I go to the store to get a new one. Uh, to see, first off, if it's like this or if it's the rectangular kind. The rectangular kind costs a little bit more. They're probably three bucks instead of a buck, okay? And they're two different colors. Did you know that? Um, you have an, uh, an ivory color, which is kind of an off-white, which almost is kind of a light yellowish. Well, that's the old kind. Years ago, they only had one color. That was the color. Then they, then they started going with white ones, too. But then if, you, if you're working in an old place, this condo is 15 years old. If these were, if these were off-white, I would have made note of that and then got an off-white electrical outlet to replace it with. Okay? So I always, I always like to check that out and um, before and so now let's see let's see if you can see everything yeah you can you can see all that yeah okay okay now I'm just gonna oh before before I take that out what else what else can I do this I could mark this with a felt tip pin if I wanted or or a or something like that in case you've painted and um, you want this exactly where you want it I'm just gonna put a little mark above the screw behind the cover plate obviously and I'm gonna try to center that like that just to give me a reference point so when I get ready to reinstall it I'll know uh, pretty much where to go I mean, granted, you don't necessarily have to do that, okay? And now I'm going to unscrew this. And because if you haven't painted, see, before we moved into this condo, I, I repainted everything. So I took the cover plates off. I painted everything. But if you haven't painted, um, your cover plate may have to go in an exact spot. This might have to be uh, adjusted uh, to where you have to, you, you're going to want it in the same spot so that when you put your cover plate on there, it covers everything, right? Okay. And this this mounting screw kind of came off. There's a little there's a little plastic a little uh, paper washer there that kind of holds the screw on there. I'm just going to kind of leave that off to the side right now. I'm going to pull this out and. I'm just going to go like that. Now, if you want, you can test this again. If you're thinking, oh, I wasn't sure, I'm putting it on the gold screw, putting it on the silver screw, and it's off. Okay. And um, uh, that's all you get. That's all you're going to do just yet. 
Okay, that's it. Just pull it out that far. I haven't. I want to make this as simple as possible. Even if you've never done electrical before, I want you to know you can do it. You can do it on your own. If I can do it, an average joke, you can do it. Okay, so on to the next step we go.